we want to make it clear that as an autonomous zone and as the encampment is situated on unceded native land, their institutional authority is not recognized here. Ah! Only one day after the tent city declared themselves as autonomous, Maya Robertson came down today himself with a big police and fireman escort to seem a few days before election day concerned about a homeless person's death that must have seen the most police attention in Vancouver's history. Hi, uh, a bit of a serious situation over there. I guess as you, well, you all gathered, so uh, um, uh, the ambulance has left and uh, a young lady is on the way to the hospital, so we really don't know what's happening. How about a little bit of silence for a, a little while? And in that, uh, in that time, you know, you can be, you can be silent, you can ch share thoughts with your friends, whatever. So, okay. actually dared to talk about safety of people and their homes, ignoring the very fact that many occupants, including the young victim from this afternoon, don't have any other home than this tent here, and that they're sleeping and if lucky dying with friends and family around. So that the, uh, the situation here at the encampment has deteriorated. Life safety is paramount, and I've been saying that all along. And it's, it's basically laying out the options right now, ensuring that uh, the city uh, can take those next legally and ensuring that the, that life safety on the site is maintained. Just how how is this saying anything special about Occupy? Every day. This is society. How about the fact that she didn't have a home so it wasn't possible for her to die in a home? There, there are homeless people on the street and there are homeless people on this site. The city has an outreach worker. We want to be sure that anyone who is homeless on the site has an option to move inside and they're not stuck here. While those left behind mourning, Gregor went to campaign for his election, stating he visited the occupation multiple times and said he wants the tent city to go. I've been, I've been on this site many times over the last couple of weeks. I've been watching what has been happening. Okay. 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 So, 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 Cities across the world, 1,700 cities are grappling with this right now. We have not seen a, a peaceful resolution to any of the Occupy camps. We're hopeful here that we can reach a resolution here with the people on the site, with all the people who support this protest movement around the city to say we want the protest to continue. We're calling every day over the last uh, several weeks. Can you show us your Any time frame? What is your contribution then? Guys, can we take media questions here? Questions? Uh, so how said? soon will the change be? There's no set timeline right now. Really, it's a matter of, of assessing the next steps that the city can take. I have directed the city manager to expedite the appropriate steps to end the encampment as soon as possible, with a safe resolution being uh, absolutely critical to that. As much as he underlines that he wants it to go away peacefully, tent city residents also emphasize that they will be peaceful, but the tents will stay right here. I appreciate their emphasis on peacefulness. We will be peaceful, and we expect the same of the BPD. You can you can rely on us. And there are brothers too. That's what we you going to agree No, we will not agree to peacefully shut down. No. As we said in our press statement yesterday, we will be here, and you can expect us. Yeah. 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 Residents and occupiers held several meetings over the course of the evening to ensure every system brother left behind is taken care of and another tragedy won't happen. I talked to a Globe and Mail, somebody, I, he asked if I thought Gregor should be down here and I said I, I thought he should, but then he came, so be careful what you wish for. I don't know what they're going to do because they want to come in here and destroy what you built here. You built a community and... The community has become a family. 
And when you build a family, you take care of that family. And that goes with the Vancouver City Police, the city workers, the firemen, and the mayor. We are all in this four colors, and we have to come together at one point or another to make things right. We, many of us are here because we're homeless. Many are landless. Many turn to alcohol and drugs because they have nothing. But these kids are humans. They need help. My suggestion to you about what just happened and that we stand up against what's going on because they're part of the problem also, namely the Vancouver City Police, the firemen, the social workers, the judges, the lawyers, it's all part of the problem that you made. Why it's like this, why that girl died to let you know that this is what happens to us poor people at every level, doesn't matter where we're from. Downtown East Side, back east in Toronto or way up in Alaska or in the States, in Mexico, people die every day because of the system that's put in place for them to look after them. It affects all of Vancouver, Canada, and the world, touching us all. This event reinforces our reasons for being on site today. It calls for collective grieving and solidarity. This is a time for love and healing. We need to stand together as a community in this moment. And purchase all the materials. I've got the specifications for a built large domes where multiple people can dwell and everybody can see each other and everybody will be safe that way, right? It also is completely indicative and representative, I think, of the sense of community that we have where we want to have our brothers and sisters living and sleeping among us. Improvement work will start Sunday morning, which is also family day. Occupy Vancouver is one where we now are now calling attention to some significant problems in this city. Severe lack of housing, severe lack of support for people who are marginalized and they need uh, support services more than what Insight can provide. We need multiple Insights in this city. We have got some serious problems and one of them is the fact that condo developers and building companies are completely holding this city by hostage by financing Vision Vancouver. Millions of dollars goes to their campaigns. You don't think that they make policies that support them? I want to suggest is that anybody who wants to start making this place the most amazing place in the, in the city of Vancouver, clean, safe, that we just put our sensible hats on, realize that tomorrow is Sunday and the courts are not open. Let's use tomorrow as a day to make this place amazing. Tomorrow is Occupy Vancouver is asking you to come down and grieve with us. Also on Sunday, a candlelight march will be held. Here is that had we not had this encampment, that woman's body would probably not have been found right now. We need to focus on the fact that people dying of drug overdoses, if that is indeed what happened today, as people are saying, is not an Occupy problem. This happens all over the world and this happens all over Vancouver. By the way, Nobody at Occupy could confirm so far that the mayor actually ever set foot on the decolonized territory. So one might say he was lying again. We haven't seen the mayor. It's no interesting because he actually sort of stands out in a crowd, but I haven't seen him. I've been here almost every day. I'm not getting accused of lying, but I, I haven't seen him with my own. So we need to find out to what level we want to defend ourselves. Do we block them peacefully and allow them to hurt us? No! No! no.